Inside Parliament with Montague. With support from the Houses of Parliament. Hey up! That's the division bell. It means there's just eight minutes for an important vote. Any minute now. The Lords are going to be everywhere, so if we want to find out more about them, we'll have to be quick. <laughs> Clever trick, isn't it? Us gargoyles can go anywhere where there's stone with a bit of gargoyle magic, so long as no one sees us. You'll keep a lookout for me, won't you? The Lords are a busy lot. Their job is to look at and shape new laws that are being written, to question and challenge the work of the government and investigate important issues. Things have changed a huge amount over the centuries, but members of the Lords have always been an important part of Parliament. So, who's in the Lords? Let's take a look. Now, who have we got down here? The Lords are picked for their knowledge and experience in politics, making laws, their leaders in business and industry, don't you know, and chosen from communities for having made a difference. I'll show you what I mean. Come on. Today's members of the Lords come from all walks of life. Aha, here we are. This fellow over here is Lord Winston. He's a doctor and expert in medicine. This means if, say, the Lords are writing laws about what doctors can do and can't do, these Lords can help give the Lords a clean bill of health. For example, they've helped make sure we have leading research into stem cell technology. Right here in the UK, that's life-saving stuff. Maybe you love sport. Plenty of Lords love sport too, and there are even Olympic athletes in the chamber. That's Baroness Grey Thompson over there. She's a famous Paralympian and wheelchair racer. You can imagine how many debates there were about the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Well, who better to have a say than someone who's competed themselves? You'll even find Lords who are actors and have careers in music and art. Yes, even some of the noisy stuff you listen to. Parliament and its laws touch every part of our lives, and so it's really important that the Lords reflect that too. But I think I've had enough of that racket. My ears are too big to cope with it. Oh, that's more like it. Peace and quiet. That's the trouble with having big lug holes. So, now we know a bit more about the sorts of people that you find here, does it make you wonder how they got here? On the number nine bus most probably. <laughs> Only joking. Most members of the Lords are appointed for life. They're chosen by the parties or a special panel, and appointed by the Queen. Here's something you might not know. Citizens in this country can put forward suggestions to the panel about people they think would do a good job as a Lord. <laughs> you can even nominate yourself once you're over 21. New Lords could choose their own name too, as long as no one else has taken it. Hmm, Lord Gargoyle of Westminster. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Hold up, what's that pigeon doing in here? This is my spot, chum. Flap off. Go on, get away with you. <laughs> Can't blame the pigeon. Up here, we get a great view of this grand room. There are rows of benches where the lords sit when there's a debate. Although a lot of the work goes on in much more ordinary looking rooms. Not really my style, though. Gargoyles prefer a bit of stonework. But wherever they are, the lords will be using their experience from inside and outside Parliament to check and challenge government. Hey, I think the Lords are getting ready to make a big decision. They do this by voting. But we'll be seeing if we hang about here. I've got to go. Pop in again soon though, because there's just so much more to show you inside Parliament. And remember to check out my etchings on the Funkies website. Well, I am made from stone and can't hold a pen. Inside Parliament with Montague the Gargoyle with support from the Houses of Parliament. Find out more about the House of Lords online at www.parliament.uk forward slash lords.